Greetings, Magic players, and welcome to another episode of Is It Phoenix? Though in this case, it is a slightly different build. I'm gonna try. I'm trying out uh, one featuring Murmuring Mystic. So I have two in the main board. I've dropped the Enigma Drakes. Uh, dropped Maximize Veloc Velocity to bring the two Lava Coils back, and added a fourth Electromancer. That's the main board. The sideboard did a bit more change. Added another dive down. Draw added negate in exchange for spell pierce. Added sorcerer spyglass. Uh, added starve extension and bane fire. So, and I'll have the list in the uh, description. But without further ado, let's try this on a match or two and see how it feels. Uh, I'm inspired by this mostly for the more grindy matchups because I've hit a couple of those recently and so I'm hoping that those will be able to help a little bit more than the all-out Drake's plan. Being on the draw, ooh, no lands, well, easy mulligan there. Uh, this has no spells, but has some creatures, so I'm gonna go ahead and keep it, because I have a high spell density. Um, I don't need this island, I need another, um, mountain. Ah, well there we go. Alright, well let's start with an island. And then we'll play Electromancer next turn, and then from there we're just hoping to straight up draw spells. Because if I don't draw spells, this hand doesn't do too terrible much. There's a spell. Good start. As long as he sticks around till next turn, I'll be able to get value from this radical idea. Probably ditching the phoenix. If I draw an opt... Ooh. Okay. Mono blue. Yeah, that might be a wee bit of a problem. Unless I can get Phoenix out next turn. Uh, that'll do just fine. Sweet. So I'm going to start with this Discovery to maybe put another Phoenix in the bin. Perfect. And then I'm actually going to chart a course. Oh no, I need another blue source. Okay, um, darn it. Well, now I wish that I had played an island that second turn. Okay, so that means that I don't want to try to go off this turn, and I'm just going to swing in. If all goes well, though, next turn... Nope, so much for that. Yeah, and I'm not going to do either of these. I guess attacking might have been a bit greedy there. Well, hoping to top deck a... I guess it doesn't matter too much, because I can play the Drake and have him on blocks next turn. That Storm Tamer has already gained a lot of card advantage, though. That's going to be a problem. Yep, Jin. That's not good news. Really need a lava coil. Actually, probably should have used Radical Idea at that point. So that I could have um, gotten an extra card. Dive Down's going to be a little late if they have something to mess with Crackling Drake. I'm going to take the hit from Jin and block the Siren Storm Tamer because I don't want them drawing another card and my Drake's not going to trade. At this point though, I really need Lava Coil. I really need running Lava Coils. Good grief. I also really need a freaking... I need some old mana. Uh, so let's dig for that. They might counter it here. Another Crackling Drake. I still don't have the mana. Um, I'm going to dig with this Opt. Because there's a non-zero chance that I could hit a land. Perfect. 
So with that, I'm going to push through the phoenixes since I'll get two of them and I can double block a Jin. Um, I'm going to ditch the Electromancer because at this point I think it's a little slow. And I'm going to have no attacks. So at this point... I think I can hold the fort at least a little bit. Something's going to be tapped. The drake, okay. That makes this decision a little harder. So it's probably block, storm tamer, chump a gin. Would have been nice to have another mana up there, but don't think that's going to happen. Um, I can double, or I can choose to not block either of the Jins and kill the Trickster and go down to one. I don't think that's any different than being at six. I'm going to try it. No risk, no gain. That makes sense. Another flying attacker is not good news. That lava coil is very good. It's unfortunately just going to get rid of their storm tamer instead of a Jin. But that's one fewer attackers. Kind of wishing that I didn't discard my Electromancer now. That might have been a mistake. Uh, let's go ahead and fire off at a Jin anyway. Because that should force either a dive down from their hand or Siren Storm Tamer. Yeah, dive down. That's actually worst case scenario there. Uh, which means we're not going to make it. Okay, so, that could have been better, could have been better. So let's see, I want extra removal, I guess, and eh, that might slow me down a little too much. Melody might not be bad, but if they have dive down then that's a problem. This is probably too much mana. Yeah, I don't think I want too much more. If anything. So. Let's ditch. One Electromancer for that beacon bolt. That might be a mistake. One Crackling Drake? Actually, the phoenixes aren't this, aren't that great here, are they? So let's get that um, electromancer back. Hmm. I'm tempted by this Rao, but I think he's probably too slow. I'm gonna try it like that. Mostly just trying to stay fast so I can outrace them. Play first, please. Just needs a red source. I have a way to dig for it. I'll keep. Lava coil and shock is pretty good as long as I get the red source. Give me, uh, well, I gotta pass on it because I really need a red source that I'm apparently not going to see. That's unfortunate. Here I was thinking we could play some magic. Um, gonna bin that. Uh, this, this can dig more next turn, I guess. I 
just desperately need. Sorry, it appears I have a frog in my throat. Tis the season. Bright side, they haven't cast anything yet either, so at least I'm not dying to, you know, a curious siren storm tamer. I didn't cast anything. Um, ooh, another lava coil is nice. I'm just gonna keep digging for a red source. Glad that they didn't counter it. Do I want running lands? I guess two red sources is pretty good. So let's go ahead and keep those both. And pass. They'll probably have counters up for the first shock. Which is what I have available. I actually don't have any threats. Hmm. Could be problematic. They don't either, though, so that's a bonus. Um, I think I should have been able to kill that. Cool. I was very much hoping that they wouldn't have counters, and it appear appears they do not. That is fantastic. If they have another obsession, though, that'd be kind of funny. Um, I think I'm going to play the Electromancer and not shock in the Steam Vents. Yeah. Because I'm not going to be able to cast these at instant speed, so I might as well save some of the life. I can radical idea. But that's about it right now. I don't have a shock. Yeah. We're going to get in a hit with that, but next turn away we'll kill it. And in case I draw a phoenix, I think I'm going to keep this radical idea in the grave. They might have counter magic now, which would be unfortunate. Especially after that. Alright, well, let's start with the obvious. Yeah, they have something. I was afraid of that. That's going to be a problem. Uh, four lands. I'm going to play another one. Pass the turn. Yeah, they're going to probably have too much counter magic up after all of this card advantage they're going to get. Maybe I have to use this radical idea search for a threat so I can actually get back into this. Mm. I think I can hold off. I, having the Electromancer helps all, immensely. Uh, let's go ahead and yeah, Lava Coil right away. They're gonna have a counter again. I have three more shocks, but the likelihood, I mean, I could dig for them. Oh, they're going to opt. Okay, sure. They are desperate for some counter magic. If it's a regular counter, that's okay. Eh, dive down's bad news. Let's go ahead and dig, see if I can grab a shock. They're probably checking to see if I have a phoenix in the grave, which I don't. Let's 
Still trying my darndest. Come on, little phoenix. Or a shock. Oh, that's rude. that they had two mana up. That was dumb. Doom, doom, doom. It's gonna drown us in frickin' card advantage. Oh, good god. <sighs> yeah, we're boned here. Way too boned. Yet another lava coil. Welp. Do you have it again, opponent? Wasting all of my removal on this one guy and it's not working at all. Whatever, I'm out. Uh, I'm not getting anywhere. Alright, let's try another match quick, because that was absolutely horrendous. A couple play choice mistakes that I made, I'm sure. And then I even had all the removal, but they just had dive downs. Maybe putting in more counters would have been more efficient. Hmm, not certain. But I just feel like that would be too slow. And a counter war with blue doesn't sound like it would work in my favor since I don't have a whole lot of counters. Uh, this is really good if they're a creature based deck. And it's playable so I think I have to keep it. Blue does not bode well. I don't... I don't pay well enough attention to... If this is mono blue again, this is going to be really stupid. I think this is mono blue again. This is really stupid. Hmm, again, I might be burned by not playing the blue exclusion mage. That's something that I suppose that would be something that the mono blue would be playing now. Putting me off by a turn. Yeah, joke. Harold. I'm not gonna block that. Right side, they don't have a curious succession yet. Try course hurts. Okay, so I have enough to play this Drake. Is the Drake what I want, or do I want to lava coil stuff? I don't think I care about lava coiling stuff. Granted, the Drake has no power right now, but that's fine. They have one mana. Yeah, let's prompt something, probably nothing. Play the Drake out. More removal is pretty nice. Won't be able to use it quite yet. But luckily they don't have much that I need to care about. I wonder if this is the same person. I'll have to look. Is this some super budget version of this? Maybe. I don't know. Uh, so let's do the whole 
radical idea trick. Just draw some cards. Ditch the Phoenix. And shock the Storm Tamer. If they choose to... Okay. I was going to say, if they choose to dive down it, I'm not too concerned. Um... I think I'm going to hold the Lava Coils back. Because I'm not too worried about the damage that they're putting forth right now. And their guys have flying. I'm going to get in with the Phoenix. Since Drake can block Kite Sail. It seems fine to me. They'll again get in with Miscloaked. They can prefer, they can choose to ooh, blink the eye. Alright. Alright. I see you, opponent. Ooh. Yeah. Take this hit. I'll be able to um, hopefully lava coil the Herald next turn. Probably should have just killed it. Well, let's start it off with that. Awesome. That was glorious. Alright, then we'll get good old crackles for some defense. We'll get in with the two guys that aren't going to be blocking anyway. Slightly ahead on the race. Uh, crackling Drake will definitely help. Having another lava coil is good too. Slows down their clock. Speeds up mine. Things that could catch them back up. I think are pretty limited. I think at this point they're kind of forced to go on defense. Unless they have a whole bunch of creatures went in there three cards. Yeah, okay. So they can't block my flyers. Murmuring Mystic's stupendous. But do I have lethal? Uh, if I Lava Coil, I have lethal. Okay. So let's... Mist... Oh, sorry. It was Lava Coil plus Arc Light is lethal. Yeah, that's fine. We'll give that a shot. Force them to have something. Okay. That's still fine. Perfect. Exact sequence. Alright. So... The removal is definitely good. Um, I think I want Beacon Bolt, Negate. And that's about it. Yeah. And I'm going to go down the Phoenixes. Two of them. Alright, give that a shot. Come to Papa. Waiting on your opponent. Uh, good mana, good spells. Yep, this looks keepable. It would be slightly better with a Goblin Electromancer, but, oh, especially with that slow start of theirs, this will be fine. I can just opt on their turn. Next turn, probably play Discovery. Another 
red source. That is kind of important to get the crackling drake. Sure. And then we draw steam vents. Well, I can I can ditch the steam vents to something. Okay, lava coal is good. Island is not. Forces me to take a hit from the Corsair, but I think that is acceptable for now. I didn't have any other removal anyway, so it's not like that matters too much. Enters battlefield if you attacked with a creature this turn. Okay. Alright, the running lands I could definitely do without. Um, let's see. So if negate was spell pierce, this would actually be a little bit better. Mm. I should probably just lava coil the flyer. Slows them down a little. Makes Drake better later. Favorable wins. This is an interesting mono blue. I wonder if it's it's looking like it's more budgety, but I'm not quite sure. Murmuring Mystic's great once I have crackles for defense, I think. If they just have a hard counter, that puts me in a tight spot. Opt is great, because then I can Murmuring Mystic and Opt next turn. Herald is fine for the most part, until they get a... for another hit. Really need a shock or something. That doesn't quite do it. I think I'm going to get in with murmuring. No, because that doesn't kill them. It puts two bodies, but that doesn't put me at any better. So I guess I'm going to draw a card. Which means I should not have played that island yet in case I drew a land. Which I did not. But, I would have shocked in the steam vents, knowing what I know now. Hmm, unfortunate. But that's what I get for making hasty decisions. Yep. Yep, and I'm paying the price for that, because now they're going to have some card draw. Oh my. Um, I think I'm okay with trading the Corsair for the Drake. Kinda have to. Now they're gonna draw an extra card, which is no bueno. Yeah, so if I had had the steam vents out, this turn would have been a lot better. Um, but let's go ahead and plop that murdering mystic out. And yeah, I think it's worth shocking in the vents. Hmm. Let's actually shock first. Okay, beautiful. That makes me feel a little bit better. Um, I'm actually going to not shock this in then. Save some life. Holy mackerel. Their flyers are going to be ginormous. I wonder if that's what they're... Oh, but they are completely on empty. That's fine by me. Get in with our two little guppies. And I'm going to main phase opt with the idea of getting a land. Oh no, chart of course, even better. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, this shouldn't put me at cap. Electromancer's great, so is another land. 
And I'll end it there. It should be... Oh yeah, this is totally... Totally in my hands now. Especially since they've just gone running... Lands. That's glorious. Um, let's go ahead and draw some cards. Because what else are we here for? Except to draw cards. Do I want to draw more cards? One, two, three, four, five, six in hand. Yeah, sure, I can go up to the hand cap. And sculpt my next couple of draws? Sure. Not worried about favorable wins. Alright. Cool. Things are looking good. Storm Tamer, you say? Yeah, that resolves. It's huge. It's gonna die. Yay! Alright, so that was one win, one loss, both, both versus mono blue. One looking to be some mono flyers sort of thing, rather than the typical mono blue build that I've seen. But an interesting beginning to this version of the deck. I think we're gonna be playing it for a bit, so thanks for watching, and tune in next time.